What up dudes, Robbie Rowland here. So uh, another frequently asked question that I get often is um, in terms of how to actually grip the baseball. And uh, the question is mostly uh, surrounding the four seam fastball and, and just trying to throw at maximum potential power output, right? So when I look at how to grip a baseball when we're trying to throw it our hardest, I look at what are we trying to do with our arm action and what are we trying to do with the intensity or the so-called like pressure of like the arm so we know that essentially if we are trying to throw at our highest potential velocity then when we go to throw we need to have this arm essentially relaxed and then pull into ball release and essentially just having this thing be completely turned off and not actively engaged like you know a lot of other things in our body should be when we're trying to throw hard so now with that being said with having the arm essentially relaxed and loose being said that is a direct correlation to your fingers and your hands so i think you know it all kind of starts from our fingertips or our, our fingers or our hands or our flanges. I learned that in PE once. So if we're stiff and we're gripping this extremely hard and we're choking the heck out of this, that's probably gonna mean that our forearms are a little bit engaged in the sense of, you know, turned on, you know, really strong, flexed, if you will, which will mean that other parts of the arm, including the whole entire arm, are going to probably be, be turned on and again, flexed, engaged, whatever you want to call it. So now if we're gripping the ball too hard, like I said, I think it's going to come up through the whole entire arm and then we're not going to be able to have that relaxed arm into our throw, which we know is a, you know, a key contributor to potential power output, having that loose arm and, uh, and really establishing that whip that you hear a lot when talking about guys who are extremely efficient in their pitching delivery, right? It's like a, it's like a, um, a freaking tip of a whip, right? The arm is just turned off the whole entire time. It's just going in the natural flow of the rest of the body. And then at the last minute, it's wham, right? So with that being said, nothing should necessarily be actively flexed or turned on. So I know a lot of people, you know, are going to be different in terms of how they grip certain things or how they throw a ball in general. But in my understanding and something that's worked for me is just completely being loose with the fingertips the bull durham quote of it's like an egg hold it like an egg is uh is relatively you know holds true so if i can think loose with my fingertips i'm going to be able to be loose with my arm and then i'm going to be able to maximize my torque and my potential power output by really being whippy out front rather than being stiff and not actively athletic, I guess, per se. So um, hopefully that made sense and uh, hopefully that clears up a lot of confusion in terms of how you should grip a ball. But it's, it's hard, right? Because when we're trying to throw it our hardest in a pull down or a mound or wherever the heck we are and we're just trying to throw it our hardest, our natural human response is to flex and to, to you know, be aggressive and turn on every muscle that we have. But it's kind of, you know, acknowledge that but again, loose. Someone once told me a long time ago, loose is strong, strong is weak. Whoa, let that sink in. <laughs> Breath, loose, like an egg, let's go. <laughs> You're welcome. Subscribe to every single one of my channels, TikTok, YouTube, podcast, everything else I can think of is probably in the caption below.